everybody. This is June the 23rd, I believe. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning on June 23rd, 2022. And we are with Mr. Dan at Spins Auto Repair. And Mr. Dan, what are you going to do for me today? Uh, we found out that your battery terminals were very corroded and uh, damaged. So we're going to change the oil and get it drained completely, change the filter, and put new terminals on it. Okay, so you, were, you so what you encourage people to do, um, and um, I went off to Walmart yesterday. You encourage people to buy their own supply, and then we just we pay you for the labor. When it comes when it comes to oil changes, yes, if you bring your own oil and oil filter, Spins Auto will change it for ten dollars. All right, so we are in Wallonia, Kentucky, which is right just down the road from Cerulean, and you have your own place. And we'll have to go in and look at it in a minute. And by the way, what are these beautiful flowers? What are they? I think they're called elephant ears. They're uh, my wife's plants. Oh, well, they are gorgeous. So we are in, uh, this is at Mr. Dan's residence, and he has his own shop. And uh, he's got ducks and chickens and turkeys and all kinds of things. So I could get a Thanksgiving dinner. Really? <laughs> I could get a Thanksgiving dinner. Crazy, your own turkey. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll take a look around in a minute, but so I am with Mr. Dan, and we are at Spins Auto uh, Repair. Is that the name of your shop? It is. Spins Auto Repair at 8965 Wallonia Road, Katy's, Kentucky. We're five miles outside Katy's in, in the area called Wallonia. We... Um, it's right on the corner next to Wallonia Baptist Church. That's right, and he literally means right on the corner. I mean, here is his property right here. This is Mr. Dan's property, and here is Wallonia Baptist Church. So you're talking about literally right here. And Wallonia is just literally, um, uh, just r literally right down the road from Cerulean. Oh, and by the way, I feel like I need to do Stephen Justice. Um, I feel like I need to explain to our viewers, I'm not coming to Dan because Stephen can't change my oil. I mean, you all know that he changes oil on big rigs. So I'm not coming here because my husband can't take care of my car. I'm coming here because Stephen puts the responsibility of the oil on me. Repairs. We do transmission changes, engine changes, rebuilds, overhauls, electrical. We do diagnostics. We do brakes. We do suspension. We do everything except paint jobs, basically. So come see us. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's very scenic. Is that what it, is that a lake down there? Yes, that is Wallonia Lake. That is Wallonia Lake. Do you go fishing down there? I have gone fishing down there. And what kinds of things have you caught? Um, yellow belly catfish. They call them bullheads and or bottom feeders and uh, bass and uh, bluegill. So maybe I can bring AJ down here um, and go fishing with him, huh? Yeah, it'd be peaceful with anything. Y yeah, nothing more. There's not a more scenic spot. There's not a more scenic spot to get your um, oil done. Uh, do your ducks ever try to go down to this lake down here? No, because I worry about them not coming back. They're still young. I've worked on cat motors, international motors, uh, Cummins motors. Okay, so. All mowers. Uh, all right. Ranges. Well, maybe uh, maybe if Stephen starts scratching his head about something, uh, maybe I can bring Stephen down here and, and say that uh, you definitely uh, are in the know, that, that you could give him a, an extra uh, pair of eyes and an extra um, set of knowledge about working on big trucks. Roger that. I'm here to serve y'all. So, and, veteran, and veterans, you get 10% off labor charges that come in the spins auto. Veterans, because you are a veteran. Yes, I'm a retired disabled veteran. All right, so uh, I just want to go ahead and get this on film and say um, we truly do appreciate your service to our country, and it's great men like you that keep our nation moving. Thank you. And I found Mr. Dan through a Bible study. Came back with an opportunity to go to a Bible study, and then that led me to meeting uh, Mr. Dan. So uh, is, is our God not an amazing God or what? Amazing. So can I get an amen on that? <laughs> and here we're having church right here hey, hey, we, uh, well not that church building behind us but we are the church we are the body of Christ so we're having church right here um, it just so happens that we have a church backdrop a building in the background but remember it's just a building that's right that's that's right because uh, the building is not the church Actions of Christ being Christ like the building is a meeting place. The, that's the, the building is a meeting place. But uh, it is uh, believers in Jesus Christ that make up the body of Christ and that we are the church. Bible tells us that, that we are the church. We're an open air church, Mr. Dan! <laughs> it's pretty exciting. To 
tools of the trade, huh? Oh, ain't that many tools to use to do this. So you're changing what they call the battery terminals. Yeah, your battery terminals. They were pretty old, corroded, and a lot of heat over time. So all that, that powder was just corrosion, right? That um, that powder, like the that was just uh, yeah, battery acid corrosion. corrosion. All right, so he is changing my battery terminals. All right, so we are actually in Katie's at O'Reilly Auto Parts because Walmart got me. The, Walmart sold me the wrong product so i was a whole lot closer to o'reilly's here in katie's and i told them exactly the kind of filter i needed and uh they said it was be all right so we are actually at the o'reilly's in katie's so let's go in Chevy Malibu, LT, 2.4 liter. Get her, get him, and he's the driver. He's the two. Way to kick your Malibu? Yes. I don't feel like you need to kick it. 2.4. Well, I guess I need to go get my pocketbook out of the car. <laughs> Hmm? I know. It's just out of convenience. I need to go get my purse. Um, there you go. I'll just put it on the belt. Oh, okay. Do you take charge cards? I will be uh, next month. Make a side trip to O'Reilly, and um, I got the wrong filter from Walmart yesterday. Tell me about this one, Mr. Dan. The filter you got was just the paper. Yeah, you didn't yeah. have your security parts for the filter to go in the housing. This is a must to go in the type of car you have. And the one that they told you you needed was incorrect. It was just a paper with no support. <laughs> and that's kind of hard for you to see in the picture. When I texted you the picture and said, is this the right one? It's just kind of hard for you to see that in the picture. So then what would they use the filter, the one that I picked up at Walmart? What would that be used for? for a different vehicle, but I'd have to look up to see. Uh, yeah. All righty. Well, so we just had to make a side trip. And guess what? I think that I'm going to convince you to come meet Stephen. How about that? That sounds good. All right. Let's do it. Well, Stephen, this is where I'm going to get my oil change from now on. Is that right? Yep. Um, brother in Christ, Bible study, parson, um, and right down the road. Yeah, I just got through booking that load right when you guys rolled Oh, Stephen. Okay. So talk to me about that. Um, Let's talk, let's talk about where you're going and uh, what's going on with that. Monday, I pick up a counterweight for a crane. It weighs 2,700 pounds. Or actually, it's 27,000 pounds. <clears throat> and uh, taking it up to uh, by Spokane, a place called Richland, and delivering it there. And then I'll deadhead back down to Burley and grab a load and come back this way. So. And how did you? I'm gonna do it without my AP unit, so I got a window unit to keep me. Uh, I'll, I'll carry it on my toolbox and pull it out and keep me cool at night so I can sleep. So Mr. Dan said that he's a uh, never seen that actually. It's probably one of the capacitors is bad. Now it's it's possible, but I have seen the compressors be bad but still turn on, not yeah. pushing it through. So that's something we need to figure out. So he could he could help you figure it yeah, out. I worked on it for three days. I finally got tired. Plus a hundred dollars of freon. Is you spent a hundred dollars in freon? Eight cans is eight dollars a piece. Figure, do the math. Well, wow. He says he's been fishing down there, Stephen. Yeah, I'd be 
Jumping in, going for a swim. You'll enjoy them turtles too. You got some, uh, they've got some snapping turtles back yeah. there? Yeah. Caught a couple of them. Oh. Wouldn't stop me from swimming. Nope. So, uh, Stephen, he's got a, he's got a whole bunch of uh, turkeys and and big stuff. I mean, big turkeys, and big turkeys. and big and big ducks, and he's got he's got oh. it all. Yeah. You mean you don't like those uh, estrogen filled uh, chickens? Nope. Uh, you eat one of these chickens, you can tell the difference when you eat them. I grew up raising chickens, so I already knew. But yeah, it's been a long time since I had a real Tyson chicken. Chicken to make it grow titties. Yeah, if you're eating that, if you're eating a Thai real chicken. chicken they'll be a little tougher than your store-bought chicken, but they taste a whole lot better. Yeah, if you eat that Tyson chicken, you'll grow titties. What do you mean by that, Stephen? If you eat Tyson, oh look, he's moving his pecs. Look at that. It's full of estrogen. They fill it full of hormones, so, so they will grow faster. Oh, look, he, he, look, he's he's flexing his pecs. Talking about Tyson. I don't want to watch him flex his pecs. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Talk about Tyson chicken. Am I a peck flicker? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you said this, uh, the, the, uh, like, processed chickens will make you grow uh, uh, breasts. Breasts, yeah. No, women, it makes them grow mustaches. Oh. Well, that's why we, uh, do you do you eat your own chickens? Yes. Okay. We sell eggs. And we butcher our own chickens. You got good tan going on, Stephen. Yeah, my butt pretty white though, you wanna see? What? What? No way! <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out! <laughs> he, did not, he just not did that! What do you do? Shoulder her moon. Oh. He oh, mooned me! I didn't look up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's... When we first got married... That's alright, we sit there and do that kind of stuff all the time. When we first got married, I came home and she was conked out on the couch. And I came in and uh, put my butt in her face and tapped on her chest and she opened her eyes and just screamed bloody murder. <laughs> I woke up to his butt on my face. Oh, wow, you got uh, everything about you is uh, tan except for your butt.